And now on Radio 4, our afternoon drama, a gritty story of passion and murder set in 19th century Russia. Lady Macbeth of Mtsensk by Nikolai Leskov. Dramatised for radio by Marty Ross. With Richenda Sandal as Katerina and Joe Armstrong as Sergei. What? Oh. Break. Break. What? Black. Black. Water must break. 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 What? Zinovi! Go back to sleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? That's not like you. What are you doing? What does it look like? Getting dressed. What time is it? Early. Go back to sleep. Well, what's wrong? The dam. Look at the water nearly at burst. The dam? One of those idiots I west away, John, up there finally jumped on a horse and rode over to tell me. I have to go. All the way up there? If this family's not to be ruined, yes, obviously. For how long? For as long as it takes to repair the mess. But Katerina Lvovna, I'm in a hurry. Well, what about me? You? Well, while you're gone? You could be days. What am I to do? What you usually do. Stare out of the window, pick mushrooms, cook up something for the rats in the barn, look after our children. <sighs> Sorry, a joke. I have a lot on my mind. I must go. Father will look after you. <laughs> Your father. He's all the father I've got. Like this is all the marriage we have. Get back to sleep. I'll be home in a few days. Sleep. Morning. Got your own breakfast, I see. Had to. Axinia's busy elsewhere. You weren't showing yourself. I fell asleep again after Zinovi went. Well, he's got a job in his hands. He said he might be days up there. Oh, the brains there are in that boy of mine. It'll be more like weeks. Couldn't plug a crack in a rusty bucket, my son. You're lucky I'm around. Yes, Papka. So lucky. Except I'm going away too. Really? No, just for the day. Don't get too excited. Oh. Me old mate Lev Konstantovich over the river. It's his name day. Vodka will be drunk. Aye, the lasses poured it will be fat and falling out of their blouses. Oh, you'll have a good time, I'm sure. Hey, I'd take you, but your husband might not approve. <laughs> What's that? that? Oh, it's only one of our fat winches getting the scene too. What? Axing you. I told you she was busy. The lads in the yard have hold of her. Hence my having to make my own bloody breakfast. I'm off. Behave yourself. What else am I to do? No, Oh, what on earth? <laughs> Get her up there! Hoist that fat soul! Get off me! Get off me! You, what's happening? Katerina Olmovna, help me! We're weighing a live soul here in the grain scales. She gave birth to a kid as fat as herself, didn't invite us to the christening. Let her go! <laughs> Just a laugh. Well, I'm not laughing. You, what's your name? Sergey. You knew. Fresh as the spring dew. Ready and willing to serve. You're not from round here. No, I've got where the work is. Well, you maybe don't understand what we mean by work hereabouts. Oh, I'm always willing to have a new employer take me in hand. <laughs> Show me what's what. You're a bold fellow. You'll go far. Far and fast as I can push myself, mistress. <laughs> well, maybe you want to put me on that scale. Really push your luck. You'd be less effort than axe in you there. <laughs> anyway, I bet a man could carry you to Arabia and back and still not feel the pain. There's pain for you. There's more to me than you think, farm boy. Weight's nothing next to strength. I have strength. More strength than a lout like you, I'll bet. I'm a betting man, mistress. Play your hand. Hey. Wrestle. Prove what a strong girl you are. You want me to show your friends here the knots a woman can tie you in? <laughs> oh, yes, mistress. All right, then. Uh -huh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ah, you, you've got all the Marie. Ah, ah, let go, let go, let go. Oh, she's more than you can handle, so great lad. You want to push me? That's wrestling, not arm wrestling. I can wrestle. 
You should all have seen me back before when I was a girl wiping the smiles off my brothers. Back before. Can you wrestle? With you? I'd leap at the chance. Oh, come on, then! <laughs> oh, no. mistress, you're an armful. Put me down! Put me down, mistress! Oh, it was wet my heart. Seeing as how you're so hot and gorgeous against me, eh? But, if you insist, how about a beer on the waiting pan, eh? Get off! <laughs> Hi, Ot. Just a game, mistress. Got out of hand, maybe. I'm not afraid of a game. There's little enough else to do around here. You! The lot of you, what are you all looking at? You heard her. Get those sacks filled. Do a day's work, why don't you? Hey, come on! Let me show you. Come on! Mistress? Yes? You're right, mistress. Me? Fine. You? Me? Oh, yes. They're just a lot of stupid louts. Animals. Yes. Your boy. How is he? Alive? Oh, yes. The ones you don't want come with the most kick in them. I'm sure. That fella there. Sergei. Where did he spring from? Oh, he just showed up. He was at the Kopchanovs. They kicked him out. For what? Fooling around? That's right. With the mistress. A devil in him there is. But he's a worker, so long as you keep an eye on him. Yes. I will. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, mistress. I didn't see you there. What are you stood there staring at? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> miles and miles of nothing. Pretty in the sunset, yeah? Is it? <laughs> I thought so. Maybe I was getting it mixed up with you. <laughs> Haven't you played enough games for one day? But maybe I wasn't playing. Why aren't you off with the other servants? Sleeping, drinking. Maybe I have a mind for something better. Such as? Couldn't lend me a good book, could you? <laughs> My husband's only got one book. Lives of the Holy Fathers. It's even more boring than The View. I'm sure. But since, what's there to do here but die of boredom slowly? <laughs> you could always get yourself a girl. Uh, you went and got yourself a husband, richest man in the district. Yet you sound as bored as I am. That's none of your business. Suppose not. All the same. Didn't have a lot of choice. What? My family wasn't rich enough to say no to a man like my husband. If we could only... him and me... a baby. Axinia doesn't know she's born, kids hatching out of her like flies on a dung heap. You're still young. My husband isn't. He's already on his second wife and he couldn't give the first one a kid either. And me... Oh, before long I'll feel as old as him. Unless... Unless... Rich ladies like you... Sometimes they find a way of getting by. What does that mean? I don't have fancy words for you, mistress. Maybe I haven't read enough books. Maybe I should take this knife here, cut out my heart and chuck it there by your feet. Maybe that would make my feelings clear. <laughs> You're crazy. That's right. With boredom. And with your beauty. I don't know which is worse. Second thoughts, perhaps I do. Get away from me, I'll scream. Scream? Or kiss me. Let's settle this now, one way or another. I... I... Must no answer. I need an answer. Now. My answer... is go. Go. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, and go. Now. now, with me. Now, now, now. And was there last from Tobolsk?
for 20 kopecks he told you. Bloody hell! There's men falling from the skies. Who's that? Oh, uh, just me. Me? Me? Who's me? You're not the new fella, are you? Young, what's it? Um... Hey, Sergey, that's it. What are you doing there? Getting up. I mean, what are you doing jumping down from up there? Up there where my daughter-in-law's got her window. Does she? Her and no one else but my son, who's 70 versts away, plugging a hole in a dam. What dam you been plugging, boy? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm old and I'm drunk, but I'm not stupid. Well, face it. I'm young and she's alone and too beautiful for your son. Ooh. I'm also done. Can't be undone. So what are you going to do about it, old man? What? What? I'll show you what with this stick here. Lads! Lads, wake up! Wake uh, up and get out of here! What? You're going to bring shame on your house? Better to shut up and let me get on my way. Oh, no. Nothing better than wiping the smile off an arrogant pop like yourself. Lads! Get off me, you old... Just try it. Just try it. Look, I was just kidding. What's the noise, boss? Here, help me get hold of this pig just fell out the sky. Uh, Sergey, is that you? Look, fellas, I was just fooling around. Get hold of him, boys. Go on. Wait. No, no, no. Now, get him in the barn. Strip him. Hang him where we hang the meat. I've got just the thing to butter this chunk of beef. Nice and tasty. Wait. Wait. Do it, lads. Quick, before I can't strip off you. Come on. Wait! What are you doing with him? I reckon he's a little too pretty. That can be rectified. No! Don't! Why? Sweet on him, are you? Hi! Eh? Eh? What happened on the other side of that window I did not see, which is why I'm beating him and not you. At least not until your husband gets back and I can hand him the rod. Now, out of my way, I like to take a run of it, but I'm still a little far off. Got him, lads! Here I come! No! No! no. Oh, my, looks pretty enough to bite! Oh, no. ah. 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 Hey, they say I'm getting old. <laughs> By God, this arm can still swing. You hear, Katya? I hear. Just this moment. I'm a prettier fellow than that lump I left bleeding back there. I'm sure. Rats in there are probably chewing on him even now. I got something for the rats. Zinovi told me to. Well, maybe you are a dutiful wife after all. Dutiful daughter-in-law too. Here, Papka. What? Mushrooms. I supposed you'd work up an appetite. <laughs> you supposed right. I picked them today. A whole bowl full. Get them down, yeah. Oh. My Katerina. But you are a woman and a half. You've noticed. I did. I don't blame you. For what? Sweet young piece like you, married to a dried up item like my son. Not enough seed in him to sprout a weed in the yard. Eat your mushrooms, Papka. Ah, but you could do better than that bleeding lump in the barn. Could I? Yes, my dear. Oit them skirts up high. I'd show your happiness. Eat your mushrooms. Oh, spoke out of turn, eh? Well, the honest family is the happy family. Eat. Eat them all. I'm just an old man, Katya, having a laugh. Don't take me to... Oh! Something wrong, Papka? Touch of heartburn. Oh, you spice these mushrooms nice and strong. What's it cook them in? Oh, just this and that. Lying around. Finish them off like a good old Papka. <coughs> oh, dear, Papka. <coughs> One of the dogs made a mess like that, you'd rub its face in it. What did you... Yes. <coughs> Lie there, Papka. <coughs> And don't you worry about those rats. The stuff I put down will be rid of them forever. Forever, Papka. And a day. <laughs> oh, Sergei. Isn't this paradise just lying here in the sunset? Paradise? Well, it'll do. So long as you're here. Oh, I'm here, my love. <laughs> Sorry. Still not quite healed, are you? I'm all right. All eyes are on us, you know. The old man dying like that. Bad mushroom in his bowl. You not even waiting for your husband to get back before the funeral. Is it my fault my penny-pinching husband got a cheap deal on some timber? Disappearing another 70 verse out of reach? All the same. 
Should we be so public? And it's only a matter of time before. Before he comes back. I know. I know. I'll have to go. To run like I've been running all my life. Unless. Unless what? Well, here's the truth, Sergey. I've learned after all this long time that if you want a thing or you don't want a thing, you just have to act on the matter. Act without worrying about acting, and then things change. Change for good. How did the old man die? Old men have a habit of dying. It's nothing for the young to worry about. Come, Sayoja. Kiss me. Not like that. That's how dull husbands kiss broken wives. Kiss me to shake that blossom from the tree. Kiss me like a lover. I know how to do that. Don't you know? What? I've heard the stories about you and all those other women. That was before you. A young man running, he can't always be on the right side of every commandment. But with you, if I could only be more to you than what I am, an equal, a husband, well, what other woman would exist for me? You'd be mine forever. Never betray me. What I feel for you, it's tight as a snake around my heart. If you ever betrayed me, but I'd never let that happen. Death would be better than that. Yeah, when your husband's back, we'll be doing the betraying then. Have faith, Sir Yosha. We'll find a way. Meanwhile, in this golden moonlight, what husband have I but you? Catcher. Gotcha. What was that? Cats. Cats? On the kitchen roof. They like to make love in the moon. Right? Love? It sounded like they were killing one another. That's what love's like when you're a cat. Let's go inside. The night's cold all of a sudden. Cats. Cats. Oh, cats. Oh, what? What? How did you get in here? Shoot! Go! Get away! Get away! Get... <laughs> face? Yes, dear daughter-in-law. Your eyes? It's me, Papka. Come to see how you're keeping my boy's bed warm. Look, look what your murder made of me. Those mushrooms burning me guts out. And the eyes afterward. Look, look, my burning, burning eyes. Look! No, no! Where is it? The cat? Cat? The cat with his face, the old man's, where is it? Hey, you were dreaming. Was I? Get back to sleep. What? What? What now? Listen. The front door. One of the servants. I locked it. No one has a key but me and... The stairs. Zinovi, my husband. Tell me. Don't, don't run. Just wait. There, on the gallery. What's happened to him? Oh, he's listening. What? Outside the door. Wait. Wait there. There. Come in, Zinovi. Don't just stand out in the cold. Come in. It is cold. Yes. Hello, Katerina. You might have warned me you were coming back. Warned you? I could have had a samovar ready. It'll need more than that to take the chill out of my bones. My father's dead, I hear. Yes. Dead. Some mushrooms disagreed with him, apparently. Well, you know what he was like. He'd take a bite he would out of anything that caught his fancy. Your heart's hard broken as mine, I'm sure. You get over things. Well, you've had more time. The news only just reached me. Me. His son. I'm still waiting for me invite to the funeral. Well, your own fault for going so far away. My fault? 
Maybe you'd have had me go further and never come back. I knew you'd come back. Well, maybe you did. You've made the bed up for two. Must have seen me coming. Makes sense to be prepared. You brought me a belt for me homecoming. A belt? This belt here. Look. Oh, that. Found it in the shed. I, I use it... Well? To tie up my skirt. Oh, yes. There's been some strain on your skirts while I've been away. Oh, so I hear. You shouldn't listen to gossip. I wouldn't. If it wasn't telling me what I have suspected already. You have a dirty mind. Prove it. Prove I'm wrong to suspect you of... of all I've suspected you of. Prove you're a faithful, sinless wife. I was. For so long. I was bored out of my mind with sinlessness. And it never won me your attention like I have it now. So what's changed? Changed, dear husband. Everything. Everything in me that had to change before it suffocated. Oh, what does that mean? It means... Sergei, show yourself. What? I'm right here, Katya. What? <laughs> what are you... Get out. Get out of my house, out of our bedroom. You're out of touch, Zinovy Borisovich. This is our bedroom now. Kiss me, Sayozha. Hey, don't you dare. I won't, I won't. No. No. Stop. <laughs> Listen, Sayozha. Our master commands. Yes, by God. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's to be like that, is it? Katerina. Oh, very well. If you want to play rough. Uh, no. Your father played rougher than that, and he didn't stop us. Oh. oh my poor Papka. I'll see you take worse than a slap. No, no. He couldn't beat the life out of us, and neither will you. <coughs> Katerina. Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait. Oh, save your breath. You'll need it. Sergey. Uh, yes? Help me hold him down. Down. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, quickly. Uh, Get your hands here. Come round his throat. Help me strangle him. What? Strangle? Uh, yes. Tight. Uh, uh, now, uh, will you keep hold of him? I bit me bloody throat. Uh, oh. I'll give you money. Everything. When you're dead, we'll have. Everything! I don't want to die. Sinophy, my dear husband, when were you ever alive? Sergei! Does it? I'll do. He bit me! Yes. You'll need a scar for a week or two. Come on, we've got some cleaning up to do. You do the digging. I'll wash the floor. Sweet God. Don't look so dejected, my love. Suddenly you're a merchant and a rich one. Mm -hmm. And this just married us like no priest ever could. What are they doing over there? Searching. Still? Well, my husband was last seen two verse from town three months ago. The town still wants to know what happened to him. I heard in the tavern someone saw him last week just outside of Moscow. Well, maybe it's true. We won't get what's ours till they accept he's gone. Patience, Sergei. I can out-talk any man on the town council. I'll tell him I need a straight answer on the ownership of the estate on mm. account of being pregnant with the heir to this place. Pregnant? That at least will be true. <sighs> Sergei, it can all be so perfect if we can just hold our nerve. Katerina. Who's that? Well, maybe it's my husband coming home. Huh? A joke, Sayozha. <sighs> Who is it, though? The police. They check around here in the cellar. Quiet. Nothing's going to get us marched to Siberia but our own... Panicking. Siberia? My God. Look. It's not the police. It's... Who is it? Katerina! Aksinya, who is it? 
Whoever it is, they've got a kid with them. A kid? Look! Axinia, come here! Katerina and Elvogna! Well, what is Katerina. it? Katerina! Who is it? Just arrived, your nephew! My... nephew? Well, your husband's nephew, anyway. Little Fedger. From Leven. Fedger. Here, the babushka who brought him's making a racket. Saying your husband arranged for the boy to be looked after if every... Well, you know. Looked after? You'd better talk to her. She says the kid's old half of everything. And the Grand Prince Ivan chased after the magical, wonderful firebird and chased and caught her wings and climbed on her back and flew to a faraway, fabulous land. Turns out my husband has been looking after his little faraway nephew, investing in his future. And tomorrow, when I go back to the town council and get them to proclaim my husband dead, half the estate will legally be his. No. Not after all we've gone through. Well, half the estate is still a hell of a lot. What more do we need when we have one another? But still, to hand half of everything to some kid. What matters more to you? The money or me? You. You're everything. Which is why I want to see you the grand lady you deserve to be. Not some laughing stock sharing her estate with some sticky fingered kid from leaving. Her own child, her late husband's heir, so far as everyone's concerned, denied his fair inheritance. No, 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 I won't let it happen. What are you suggesting? You know what I'm suggesting. Well, say it. Well, you know, a kid must be easier to kill than a man. You don't have to squeeze half so hard. Sergey! You were thinking the same thing, don't kid me. I wasn't. I... I was thinking... Well... The kid's sickly. The babushka who brought him warned me... If we're not careful, he might not last the winter. And I went and forgot to put him in a warm coat this morning. You hear? The poor mite's caught a chill already. How are we, my little man? Better. A bit. <coughs> Where's Axinia? Down in the town with everyone else in church. It's the vigil of the Blessed Virgin. They make a lot of it hereabouts. Are they very holy? Yes. <laughs> Until they get to the tavern afterwards. <laughs> Why aren't you in church? Because I serve the Blessed Virgin by serving my poor nephew. What's that you're reading? The Lives of the Holy Fathers. Oh. Uncle always promised he'd give it to me. Yes. Yes. Uncle promised you a lot of things. Give me the book. It's time you got some sleep. But I don't want... Sleep. Only me. Not the vigil. Oh, I thought I'd stay. Help you. I was just getting fed you to... Oh. Auntie. Catch you. It's all right. It's my baby. Kicked. First time. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, thinking about its future. What? Its inheritance. Yes. Maybe. You going to sleep, young fella? I want to stay awake till Axinia comes home. She promised me a piece of bread that's been blessed. Oh, quite the little saint, aren't you? <laughs> what are us humble sinners to make of you? Lie down, there's a good boy. But lie down. Sergey? Yes? Help me. Please, would you? Help. He needs another pillow. I don't... What? I don't like that man. There's a pillow here. That man, he's a prince from a faraway land. He came one day... Sergei! He came one day and rescued a poor, beautiful princess who'd been trapped. Trapped by a wicked merchant. And she... Quick! Now, if you're going to do it, do it now. You'll give me the wretched pillow. Auntie, I... We should have gone to the vigil. What? That place in hell might have been a little less deep. Close the door, the bedroom door. Close it. Oh, uh, yes. What's that? 
Katya. I don't know. It's... It's all around us. Katya. Huh? Who is it? What, what, what is it? Run. 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 Who is it? What's happening? What if it's them? Who? What? The kid. Your husband, the old man. They're dead. Dead. Yes, dead. Murdered and coming back for us. They can't. They can't. What? Ghosts. They can't. Listen, listen. Oh, God. I'll have that door down any minute. Listen. I know it. Your husband. Coming for us. Coming for me. Kill us, murder us. Kill us. Lord God, the eye is upon me. Sergei, Sergei, listen. Listen. It's not ghosts. It's just folk from the town. What? Look, the windows. They must have staggered out the tavern drunk, stumbled up here to spy on the lovers and seen us with the boy. They'll kill us. Maybe. But whatever they do... We won't face it cowering in the corner. Sergey! Stand up at least! Katerina and Bosnia, no! Sergey! I'm opening the door! I'm, 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 I'm opening the door! No, wait, wait, wait! This is my house! This is my, my house! Katerina Lvovna Ismailova, you stand condemned in the eyes of your god, your czar. Condemned even in the words of your co-conspirator. What words do you have to say in your defense? I loved him. I love him still. And I wanted to live. Keep moving, all of you. You, keep up. Your beautiful new dacha awaits in sunny Siberia. Just another few thousand versts up and over the picturesque Urals. March! March or we'll leave you for dead at the side of the track. March! Sergei. Sergei, where are you? Sergei. There she goes again, her ladyship. Shouting for a bit of rough. Sergey. There you are, Sergey. Shut up. Go away. Go. We're going to the same place whether you walk with me or not. There's a hundred other prisoners on this march. Find some other poor idiot to torment. Torment? After all I did for you? Booking my ticket here, you mean? I lost more than you. Well, that's not how it felt when they flogged me. What about the baby they took off me? <laughs> You're a fine one to get all sentimental over a kid. Our child, Sergey. Not the first bastard I left behind. I could live with that if I still had you. You don't. Sod off. My breast still aches sometimes. Get someone else to kiss it better. Sergey. All I did, all I've lost, it was all for love of you. For love of me, get lost. Even in court, I didn't say a word against my lover. Unlike you. I told them the truth. Now you corrupted me. If they'd listened, you'd still be here, but I wouldn't. And I wouldn't be branded on the bloody face. You're still beautiful to me. Beautiful? You're further out of your mind than even I thought. Even here, we can still have one another. At least, to a march to wherever it is we're going and they split us up. And wherever that is, it's, it's still a long way ahead. If I have to walk every verst of it with you at my side, I'll end up killing myself before these bastards finish the job. Sergey, please. I have to believe what tangled us together was a great, great love. Because if it wasn't... If it wasn't... How much money do you have? What? Money. How much? A few kopecks. A ruble or two. If you pair these guards enough, they can, you know, arrange things overnight in the transit camps. Arrange? You could come to me in the night. You know, for a little mutual comfort. Oh, Sergei. Give me some money and I can sort it out. To be with you one last time, like that summer evening in the orchard. I can't buy a summer back. But I can maybe buy us one last little bit of warmth oh, yeah. in the depths of all this corn. <laughs> Tonight, at the camp, picture it. Romantic corner of the transit prison. 
You running into me arms, me getting tight hold of oh, you. Oh, it's okay. And then pinning you down while whatever maniac I gave you money to beats these sweet romantic fantasies out of you with the end of a rope. <laughs> you there, no fighting. If anyone's going to beat the hell out of you, we'll do it ourselves. Get up. Help, they'll kill me. Then all of your running would be at an end. No, 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 I can't face that. Not right here and now. I'll do anything. Oh, you sound like my husband. What? What? No, no, he didn't love you like I do. Love? Oh, suddenly you love me again. Of course I do. I can't escape that any more than I can escape bloody Siberia. Oh, You're lying more than likely. Catch her. But as for us having one another for a prison sentence, ah! there's no denying that. Now move on! Ah. The next transit camp, I'll have to <coughs> try and get into the hospital. The hospital? But you'll be left behind. We'll never see one another again. Well, look, look, my legs are bloody to the bone. Maybe... Maybe what? You must still got those extra woolen stockings, have you? Yes. Well, I mean, you can see your way to... For you? I'll be able to keep walking, keep up with you. Until they split us apart, and we never see one another again. Show me a mercy I can remember you by. I bathed your wounds once. That day in the barn. Maybe it's an excess of mercy that got us into this mess. Katerina. But it's too late now for being other than the people we are. Here. Here, take them. I've done you such a wrong. We've both done a lot of wrong. Love's all the excuse we've got. You served my life. Yes. For Siberia. Keep walking. We'll be there before we know it. Come on, step up. We've a river to cross. You have a beautiful boat ride ahead. Oh, you're gonna puke. Puke over the side. Sergey. Sergey. Where have you got to? Sergey? Oh, get on the ferry. I'm looking. Sergey. There you are. Oh, make way for Lady Mock. <laughs> Where have you been? I've been searching for you. Have... Who's she? <laughs> Company. Sonia, I'm called. Your man was in sore need of cheerful company. I see. I thought he'd been walking terribly far ahead for a man on his last legs. Well, Sonietka's worth keeping up with. A laugh she is. I haven't laughed in a long time. Wait till next camp. I'll really cheer you up. <laughs> I'll bet. Okay. Get on that boat now before I make you swim the Volga. Come on, Sonietka. The way they're packing us onto that ferry, it ought to be easy enough to lose it. Sergey, you can't! You told when me... When you see wolf gnawing at your leg, you tell it what it wants to hear. Doesn't make it love. Give me the stockings back. What? The stockings I gave you to save your life. Where are they? Oh, you put me through. You're moaning about stockings. Where are they? Here. What? Suit me, don't they? You gave them to her? She's worth it. What? You lied to me. You took them from me to make a present to your heart! Get off! Get off! Hey. Oh, yes. Stop fighting! Get on the boat! Get off me! You'll all be dead soon enough, don't worry! Get off! Hey, hey. Come on, Sonyeka, hey. let's get on board. Sergey! You too! Get on board! That evening, summer evening, so warm, the sunset, you and me, Sergei, you and me. Sergei, Sergei, over here, look, it's a lady ship. What are you doing there? Too good to mix with the rest of us. I was looking. What? At the water. What are you doing? Reminiscing about the mess you got me into. Look, Sergei, among the waves. Old Boris. My husband. Little Fedya. She's off her head. You're well rid of her. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your ladyship. You could have had a good time with this lad, you know. If only you kept the fun between the sheets. It's not in her nature. Look, catch her, look. This 
is me. Who I am, who I always was, a laugh, a lad. Not the kept man and killer you made me into. You'll never see yourself like I saw you. Even in Siberia, that'll be some compensation. Come on, Sonia. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you sick? Sick. You look sick. Sick. No. It's just... Life beats you down day by day. Until one day, maybe, you find the nerve to say no. To make things different. And still, still, life catches you, corners you, beats you down harder than ever. As if there was no escape. And yet, and yet, what are you talking about? You are mad. What I mean, Sonia, is even when you're beaten down this slow, with more beatings to come, it's still possible to say. No! Wait! Wait, no! She's got me! Sergey! Sergey! What? Careful, where you got me! Sonia! She dragged her! Overboard! Overboard! Two overboard! Yes, Tony! A boat hook! We need a boat hook, quick! Where are they? Sonia! Grab photo! Wait! Just wait, Sonia, we'll get you out, we'll get you. Here! Grab this! The hook! Grab it! Sonia, grab it! She's got it! Katarina! Where? Where did they go? Where? She got him. Like a pie can a sprat. Sonia! Sonia! They're gone? Both of them? Oh. No. No! Katarina! By God, I hope you were worth it. Worth? Well, we answer for these things, don't we? We're not just in prison. Move back, all of you! You too. What? Oh, we've got somewhere colder for you than the bottom of the Volga. She loved me. <laughs> Your own stupid fault, I'm sure. Get back, I said! All of you! The mad bunt's dead. And she's still more alive than you'll be by the time you reach Siberia. Siberia? Oh, Katerina. Is that the wind off the river, or... Oh, are you grasping at me still? Let go. Catch her. Please. Please. Please, let me go. Katerina. Let me go! Let me... Let me go! Katarina! Lady Macbeth of Mitsensk by Nikolai Leskov was dramatized for radio by Marty Ross. Katarina was played by Rachenda Sandel and Sergei by Joe Armstrong. Zinovi was played by Harry Myers, Boris by Trevor Cuthbertson, The Guard, Farmhand and Judge by Mark Straker, Axinia by Jessica Dennis, Sonia by Kerry Gifford, and Fedya by Christopher York. Sound design was by John Culver. Lady Macbeth of Mitsensk was directed by Cherry Cookson and was a Wallace Theatre Company production for BBC Radio 4. <laughs>